is going to be replacing the port lights. This was the old light. The light bulb was getting so hot that it completely melted this plastic and then was going and kind of messing up the gel coat. If you don't know, he's an electronics technician in the Coast Guard, so he does this every day, so it's not a big deal for him. We're just gonna be here for like a quick hour, get a little bit of work done, and then we're going to take the dinghy over to a sandbar not that far away from the marina that we're at. It's a really flat, calm day. I think in about two hours, I think it was, that there's supposed to be like zero wind. So it's not a good sailing day, but it's a good dinghy day. And we haven't gone out to a sandbar since being down here. As far as window leakings go, the bilge is drier than normal. There's no stains on the couch and the little doggy pee pads have no evidence that it was wet and it rained yesterday. So pretty sure that it's fixed. Still need to do this side, but it takes us like three hours per window and we kind of just don't want to do that. Plus these ones don't leak as bad, nearly as bad. The ones on that side was just like basically a hole. We have been here almost an hour. We did that one, the one over there, and he's working on this one over here. While he's been doing that, I've been putting these little doodads on these wires so it's not hanging down. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. So these are more economical? Economical, energy efficient. Especially cool. if you're an anchor with a battery. So you did three lights, right? That one, that one, that one. The other one can either go here or in that bathroom. I think I'd rather it have it here just so there's more light at night. Sure. All right, we are leaving. We've been here a little over an hour, like an hour and five minutes. And now it's time for a dinghy ride. to go take the dinghy out for some lobstering. We're gonna go further out than we normally just paddleboard. We might go over in like the back country of the Keys, near like Mud Key. She's pumping up the dinghy right now. We got all our lobster gear. There's a boat right now. This is our little portable shower thing that we brought last time that we came out here. It's very convenient to just at least fresh water rinse ourselves before we get back in the truck. Um, it actually lasts a really nice long while. We have our Shell Gear backpack. That is like the best backpack ever. It's waterproof. It's really big. It has like some padding. I just put this little carabiner on it to clip to the front of the boat so it's not like flopping around on the dinghy. But we have our radio, um, some water, our license, like fishing license and stuff like that. And I think our snorkel gear, snorkel mask is in there. I'm timing it and it's only been two minutes. That's not bad. 
So the dinghy's all inflated. Took about 10 minutes. We have our oars. Gotta put the outboard on it. This is our little dive flag. This app right here, Navionics. So we can kind of know where we're going. We are gonna go probably around this area near Jewfish Basin over near Mud Key, but probably not that far. Probably just around here. Stingray. Look at a big boy. Oh wow, cool. Oh, sand shark. Oh, there's a shark. Never mind, I don't want to get in. It's just a little nurse shark. There's another nurse shark right there. Underneath, right off the bow. Probably. We're over near Bay Key, searching for some lobster spots. I look ridiculous. It's a neck gator, because my hair keeps getting pulled by my mask but there's a million birds so many birds 